Manly uh, copying a fair bit of criticism lately for not performing where most expect you're hoping Turbo doesn't come out with a vengeance this week. Yeah, no, it's um, it's going to be a good game. Um, you know, their, their first game back after the new stadium was built. Um, obviously, like not the best start to the season for them. So we're expecting a real a real challenge. Um, and I reckon Tommy will be on. So we've got to do a job on him. It's pretty dangerous being the side that has to limit uh, one of the best players in the game after he's been criticised. Yeah, and he's going to come out firing. Um, but uh, I think we just take a leaf out of the Roosters and Penrith. Um, they did a pretty good job and handled him, so we've just got to try and do the same, I guess. But it's going to be hard, and he's going to, yeah, he's going to try and do the best we can, I guess. So. What are the key factors that you noticed that those guys were able to do one? Oh, I read in the interview that Luke Curry uh, never said a player's name um, so much in a game, so probably that. Um, just trying to not, 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 just trying to let the boys know where he's at at all times, because um, he's dangerous around that ruck. So. Yeah, just no, um, name dropping him. It's, um, you mentioned Luke Kiri, but even like the players and Robbo were saying before that week, he said they literally do so much work on him and so much prep on him during the week. Is that the case? Is yeah, well, I think it's, we can't just focus on Tommy because they've got good players across all, across the field. So, um, but yeah, he's one of the players that we'll be watching. So, can't, I'm trying to say we're not giving too much away. Yeah, <laughs> we can't give it all away. What about, um, just chatting to Burton about his kicking game, which has been absolutely incredible. Oh. But you're glad he's on your side. I'm glad he's on my side, kicking the ball, because when that ball goes up, it's just good luck to everyone catching it. Um, I reckon it's because of his toes. He's got the longest toes you'll ever see in your life. Yeah, he's actually got the size 10 foot, but he's got three sizes in his toes. So I reckon that's where he gets the extra oomph from. Like a spring. Like a little spring, the little toes just flick up. <laughs> you'll hate that too. <laughs> Penrith, did you know that he had that kicking game? Because I think he surprised a few people. We thought he's more of a running style 5'8 and didn't really see that part of him. Oh, yeah, we've been at Penrith him too, so I know that um, he had a kick in him all along. Um, he, he was probably up there with Nathan putting bombs, so I reckon that's what Dylan went really good last year too, because catching Birdos and Nathan's bombs, two of the best kickers in the game. So. Can you see shades of Nathan and his kicking game in Birdo now? Yeah, like. Playing it with Nathan, like just watching him, how professional he is in two, and for Birdo, just watching him and how professional he's starting to take his game. He's start, like we all knew he could play. Um, it's just a, he's professional. Um, he's taken that to another game, so another level this year. So I reckon, yeah, he will be one of the best halves in the in the comp. He's such a young kid still, and got a very mature head in his shoulders, doesn't he? How settling is that on the field for you guys? Oh, it makes a. A lot of the boys feel a lot more calmer. Hey, he's got such a mature head at such a young age, and I guess like that's what Nathan had as well too. So, for him to have that at what, 22 this year, it's it's pretty unreal for us, and so that's what the club's going to be going forward. Outside of the laughing and the jokes that are made, are yeah, you enjoying the combination of Fox? Yeah, it's all right. Foxy brings the energy, but Birdo quiets it down, so it's a good balance. I'm right in the middle of it, so it's I'm 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 good. Do you ever get sick of Foxy? Nah, I don't get sick of Foxy at all. Um, maybe sometimes in the mornings. When the baby comes and I don't get no sleep, I might get a little bit sick of him. But at the moment, he's going all right. I think Baz came out on the weekend and was critical of uh, that one try where Braden Burns was taken out. And it's been said that the bunker, yeah, may have got it wrong. But have you been practicing diving this week? As Baz said, maybe that's what he'll implement. Yeah, I'll, I'll be just got to play to the whistle at the moment. Um, you know, you can look at after, look at things after the game, and you know, you can blame. Everything, but at the end of the day, we got to stop that those tries. We got to play to the whistle, and I think that's what we we failed to do. So that's one thing we can take forward next week.